So, what are some of the important SIP elements? One of the SIP elements that we will find is a soft phone. A soft phone, it's a software-based sound phone. <clears throat> it can send and receive calls on any hardware device that can ruin the software. It needs to be registered to ser serve with the format zip some column extension at serverdomain.com. Some examples of open source cell phones are Linfon or zip ML5. You can find more information online about those. Another very important zip element is a PBX. A PBX stands for Private Branch Exchange. Basically, it's a private telephone network used to communicate internally or externally using different communication channels like VoIP. It provides features like transfer calls, voicemail, call recording, interactive voice menus, and call queues, and also they are used for forwarding SIP messages between user agents. One, one major difference with a SIP proxy is that a PBX typically will treat each station independently by acting as a SIP back-to-back -back user agent. That means that when a call starts from A to B on a PBX, what will actually happen is that A, a will uh, connect to the PBX and the PBX will connect to B. There will be two separate call IDs and there will be two sessions. The PBX will act in this case as a user agent and will respond to one, will forward the call and will send a call as a, another user agent to another to the uh, call the call. <coughs> A PBX allows you to have more phones than physical phones and allows free calls between users. So you can guess that why it's so much, so important in, especially in medium to big size companies. Another very important SIP element is a SIP proxy. As you can see in the image, a SIP Proxy is like an intermediate uh, uh, proxy between a PBX and a user agent, in this case, phones. Any SIP device can talk to another SIP device. But in order to do that, sometimes we use a go between called a SIP proxy to begin the communication, which then drops out, allowing point to point direct communication. A SIP proxy is configured to do tasks associated with finding the proper destination of the call uh, when, for example, the IPs uh, do um, some uh, complex stuff like uh, NAT traversal. <coughs> the proxy server routes the request within the network to a remote proxy server or to an off-domain network such as the PSTN. In this case, it's routing into a PBX. Generally, they are used to protect the PBX from C brute force attacks. And one of the most common open source C proxies is Kamaelio. It's uh, use its own language, uh, similar to C, and it's uh, pretty much used only for uh, C related. Uh, Proxy. 